Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, part 321. In the second, I'm going to be driving the uh, number 92 Ray Hall Letterman BMW thing. Yeah. Thing. So, uh, stick to that racing because, hey, we're going to do more GT2 racing. This time, the other class is going to be LMP2, so that's pretty much the only difference here. And maybe the tracks we go to, or the order of the tracks, I don't know, but yeah. So, GT2 and LMP2, also AI lineup is slightly different. It's just a different BMW and different livery on the uh, F430, basically. That's about it. So, uh, here are our seven tracks. Pretty much the exact same lineup as the last segment, I think in the same order. So, uh, let's get started at Lasarth. Okay, here we go. Well, time for insanity. Yet again. Because, uh, yeah, Lasarth. Hope this goes well, though. Pretty bad initial launch for me, but now we're going. Maybe taking the lead. Oh, here comes Fisher in the other BMW from last on the grid. Coming to take the lead. Holy shit. Alright, well then. Didn't quite succeed, but made it up to second. Second, yeah, second. I just want to say, like, seventh for some reason. Anyway, since we're going to be racing against prototypes, uh, yeah. We're not going to have any, like, shenanigans. So, um, they're, they're just going to go off in their own race, and we're going to have our own race, basically. So, there's that. What specifically is Psycho Stick? They're a comedy metal band. Like, they're just a metal band that makes comedic music. Not really a parody band, because they're not parodying, parodying anybody. They've done a couple song parodies, but, you know. They're great. They're also hilarious. They're also a lot of fun live. I really wish I could go to another Psycho Stick concert. Sadness Mountain. Anyways, um, we're doing good here. We've got a BMW 1-2 happening right now. <laughs> Come on, Fisher. Let's get that Bimmer 1-2. So far, uh, off to a much better start than with the Panos. Same thing as seems this Beamer is a little bit better performer than the Panos. At least from stock. So there's that. Oh, someone randomly made you listen to them. Yay! At least you like them. They're a really good band. Probably the positioning lights like worked on the side of the car in this game. That'd be cool. Sadly, they don't. You know, I'm just missing shifts left and right here. I'm actually surprised at how well Fisher is driving that BMW. Didn't think it would be that competitive. But here he fucking comes. <laughs> By the way, my car is uh, stock. Theirs aren't. So I, I do have that straight line disadvantage still. So there's that. Anyways, into Arnage. Getting around Arnage. I think I'm actually finally learning how to get around Arnage mildly effectively. After hundreds upon thousands of laps around here. Better late than never, I suppose. And it's around Z curves. Look at dim curves. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not how you do that to Warner. Cutting through the grass is usually not how you do things. Oh, 
I mean, you could, you know, get an Xbox 360 and play the Forza games that way. Or you just get the Xbox One Forzas. At least Horizon 3 and 7, because those are apparently really good games. Well, 7 is definitely good. I haven't played Horizon 3, but people consider it their favorite. A lot of people consider it their favorites. <laughs> I can't speak. Lap one down. Got two second lead at the line over Fisher. So let's bring it home. Oh, shnikes. Oh, shnikes. Okay, we're good. Point is straight. Oh, upshifting was probably a good idea. It means I can go faster. Should probably try doing that. <laughs> Whoopsie. I pay attention to my revs totally. This car is driven by Tommy Milner and Jorg Muller, I think. Jorg Dirk, I don't know. SUVs were not meant for Bathurst, not with that attitude. Maybe you should just get... no. The one time you heard all the 360 games were going to work on the Xbox One, all that was a lie. Told to you. That's why you only, uh, believe official statements. Astro 5 is tire wear shittiness. <laughs> Try to build as big of a gap as possible at the start. And then once your tires die, block like a motherfucker. Just hold the inside. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, okay! Ooh, ah, ee, mm, ah, mm. That was, ooh. My god. That was a heart attack, anyways. <laughs> Um, yeah. Moving on. Am I going to do GT Sport playthrough once I get a PS4? Yes. Anyways, after my near-death experience, let's uh, just bring it home here. Aren't you doing a, uh, just like season mode playthrough of NASCAR 05? If that's the case, you should totally do 100% length races. Since I can't, since I'm doing career mode. <laughs> Be retarded like me. You'll hold the inside is not a thing. Cars will not willing to do that. That's why you go slower. See, once your tires start wearing out, you have to take the turn slower. So, just scrub off a little more speed. Hug the bottom. Don't try to, like, you know, stab the brakes and lose all the speed at once. That, that'll just cause you problems. That'll cause you all kinds of problems. Best thing you can do in NASCAR racing is drive the car as smoothly as possible at all times. From throttle, braking, steering, everything. But, yeah. But anyways. 
So, uh, there's a first race complete on one. We got our BMW 1-2, I think. I didn't actually pay attention, but anyways, let's move on to race two. Alright, here we go. Race number two at Sebring. Our GT2, uh, adventure. Hi, Mike. So, let Russo get his amazing launch and then immediately tap the brakes. Because he's a dummy. God. Come on. Come on, squeeze ahead of Russo. Damn it, wasn't able to squeeze ahead of him. Oh shit. I actually uh lifted on that little right hand kink. Wasn't expecting that. I got a crazy star here at Sabring International Raceway. Somehow I ended up with the lead. Not sure how I somehow managed to do that. And I'm definitely going to get punted here. Okay, I didn't really get punted. Thank God. Eh, very light damage on the uh, side. That's fine. That shouldn't hurt me too much, if at all. This thing has better brakes than the Panos, and I'm not prepared for it. Your that is just carried a little less speed down the straights than the Panos, I'm not sure. Not entirely sure. I know this Roos is all over my ass. Oh shit, what am I doing? Have I driven a California yet in the truck series? In my NASCAR 5 LP, like what I've recorded. Apple stole the Pac-Man logo. No. An apple that has a bite taken out of it is not Pac-Man. It's an apple. A fruit. You know. That fruit that you eat with your hand and your mouth, and it's delicious. No more Forza 7. What? I don't keep playing Forza 7. I just need to fucking finish this game. Careful. Ugh. I'm so, like, scared to break a little later for this turn, because if I know, like, if I try, I'm just going to go flying off into the grass. It's a joke. Oh. I didn't really find it funny. Move. Just gotta keep the fuckers behind me. Got more in second this time. And Fisher's in fourth in the other BMW, so Fisher's still pretty good. Good. Just pissed at the game right now, so buggy. You know, everyone says it's like uh, there's so many like bugs and shit. Meanwhile, although I didn't like the f few hours I played for as a seven, I did not experience anything. Maybe I'm a special case, or maybe like you know. I pay more attention to the fun I'm having. I don't know. Who fucking knows? I mean, I am abs absolutely fucking retarded and the stupidest person to ever exist, so... I'm the worst gamer because I care about fun, not perfection. How dare I? And... there maybe goes Russo into second? Yeah, he got second, okay. It's all happening behind me, folks. Let's so head on to lap number three.
driver swap, NASCAR 05, wait a minute, oh, NASCAR 06, never mind. You're mentioning NASCAR 06, not 05, I'm gay. Never mind, I can read, except I can't, holy fucking Russo. God, that Ferrari is quick. With them open restrictors. Ooh. Power slide. Track disappears in all super long races, huh? I should do some extra long races and test that out for myself. What are you playing on, uh, Xbox One or PC? Out of curiosity. Like, how do, like, the gauge display on this thing is so dimly lit I can't fucking see it? PC. That might explain some of it, because there are d definitely are some issues with the PC version that they're still ironing out, so... I don't fucking know. Wait, was this pre- or post-patch? That's also a, that's another important question. Because they've already released, I think, a major, like, patch for the PC version. Same an Xbox post, huh? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pretend I know anything about it. So, whatever. If it's an issue, then it's an issue. That I'm, I guess, lucky enough to not experience. So I guess I'll just, you know, go fuck myself, basically, and focus on this race. I'm just gonna have a little bit of gap on more here, so I don't have to worry about getting punted into the corner. Good. Hey, Fisher's up to third as well. Oh, boy. Can we get a BMW 1-2 two, two races in a row? Come on. Bimmer 1-2. Now oh, Russo's fighting back. No. No, you don't, Russo. You suck. Can't drive that Ferrari with shit. <laughs> Rossi's better than you will ever be. Judging by the gap, I don't know about Moore's chances of finishing second, though, unfortunately. That GT is pretty fast. I'm sure it's a shitty five-car team in NASCAR 6. What about Roush, lol? It's a joke. Not a funny one. But I couldn't think of any other team. I actually had like four or five cars. Actually, wasn't the Roush the only team that had five cars? Like full time cars? The NASCAR's like, okay, we need to stop this. Only four cars maximum. Am I gonna give Need for Speed Payback a try? Yeah. I'm gonna play it at some point. I'm not sure when. Probably won't be till like after, well, after launch. Spinning in the tires, how you doing? Holy fuck. Suddenly there is a Ford GT much larger in my mirror than it has been, and I'm missing a shift. God damn it. This is the only bad thing about like listening to music while I'm fucking recording this and streaming. Is I can't 
hear my fucking car. So I always fuck up my upshifts. There's always that period of time which is like, hey, but da 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 But anyways, oh. Meanwhile, P2 guys are done. They're finished with their race. Where the fuck did Moore go? He... I think he parked his car. In that first left-hand kink, try it, because he was looking for a move. Sucks for him. I heard four is four is the best. A lot of people consider four the best. I personally think two is still two is still my favorite Forza Motorsport two. But you know, to each their own. And once again, I'm Captain Unpopular Opinion Man. So yeah. Her Need for Speed Payback would be similar to Forza Horizon games. I haven't heard of that comparison being made. Looks like it's going to be kind of like a mix of The Run and Rivals. In a good way. I don't know. No, I just hope it's a good game. That's all I care about. Also, I win. So, two down, five to go. Ah. Alright. Race three. Silverstone. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go. Five, five laps around Silverstone. Let's get that shitty launch. Russo getting that god tier launch. Seriously, what the fuck is under that for? Like, I know he has, like, you know, trash control because all the AI cars do, but goddamn, that Ferrari just fucking goes. It's like, you sure that thing's secret, not secretly all will drive? I don't know. Force my way around them quickly, just so I don't have to fuck with them. I mean, I'm still gonna have to fuck with them a lot, but it won't be nearly as. won't be quite as bad as trying to catch them. Meanwhile, P2 cars are gone, as expected. See you bye. We'll see you at the start. At the grid for the next race! Oh my fucking god! Who was it? Fucking hell. Don't like burnout? Okay, I can understand that. Like, if you don't like burnout, then you're not gonna like the burnout style and your speeds. That, I understand. I think Ridge Racer is the worst racing series ever. I fucking love Ridge Racer. Like, Ridge Racer's so fucking awesome. Especially five. Five is amazing. I can't help you with the math there on the Need for Speed video of the day thing, JC. Can't help you there. Depends on how you format your LP, I guess. Your LPs. So basically, you're just like, like not a fan of like the the super arcadey racers, basically. I'm guessing, which is you know that's fine. You don't have to like all types of racing games. Because I personally like all types of racing games, but you know I'm not gonna be like I'm superior because I like all the things. <laughs> Games where you tap the brake, do a 300 km hour perfect drift. Eh, I, I understand. I mean, it's it's built into the gameplay, and that's like the focus of the game is you know ridiculously arcadey handling. Like Mario Kart, though. See, that's a weird contradiction. I mean, it's not much of a contradiction because you know Mario Kart's a lot different than Burnout and Ridge Racer, but still. I can't, I don't know. I like racing games that aren't cheap efforts. I don't understand that one. Don't like blur. Okay, that's interesting. 
Is it, is it like a realism thing? Because like you have realistic looking cars, but super unrealistic handling maybe? And Mario Kart is just like, yeah, it's me, Mario! Therefore, all fucking like, you know, semblance of realism is thrown out the window. Oh, welcome to Dr. Phil. No. I'm gonna poke the shit out of your brain. No, I'm not. I should stop. Probably. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. It's whatever. Don't have to like things. You know, I'm driving like garbage here. I'm holding the lead, but barely. Also, I'm not seeing Fisher anywhere. Like, I know he's there, because we're all packed together, but... The fuck is that other BMW? Wish all 364s against for backwards compatible with Xbox One. I wish the Xbox One just had full backwards compatibility. That'd be really nice. But it doesn't. So, oh well. No, you stay behind me, Rusty. Yeah, you go wide. I can use speed on Grand's most one. Well, those aren't really like super arcadey games. Those like have at least a sense of realism to them, because you actually like have to attempt to make turn your car around the corners, and you know you're not like power sliding at you know 180 miles per hour around the corners. You're actually like steering the car and shit. So, yeah. Yeah, it's still grip racing, it's just arcadey grip racing. No. Again, different strokes. Nothing wrong with it. Oh, going very wide, hello. This rear end damage is not helping me. It's kind of giving me some uh, uh, oversteer. Not a fan. I mean, I like slightly oversteery cars, but in this case, it's not helping at all. Because it's damage induced oversteer. Ah, uh, my fucking nose, please stop. Hey, Moore's made it up to second in his GT. I like the run a bit. I mean, the run had promise. I was just sorely disappointed with the execution of, like, the campaign. That's my biggest problem with the run. Nice and smooth in the bimmer. Empower. <laughs> oh shit! Please stop sliding, car. I will think. I will love you forever if you stop sliding. Oh shit! How you doing, more? What is up, my dude? You stay back there. slide into the final turn, because that's what I do. Multiplayer is lame. I never tried multiplayer in the run. That's because I don't I don't give a shit about multiplayer. Alright, final lap, and it looks like Russo's, or not Russo, that's Spears. And he's in the same model Ferrari, but he decided to uh, go with a different livery. Are there endurance races in this game? No, they're not. I think it was the first Forza to not have, like, endurance races. Luckily they came back in 6. And 7. So, yay! I 
I wouldn't say Heat Evolution is a cheap effort game, JC. It's a foundation game. Like, you know, they're, like, laying the foundation, basically, of how they want their modern asphalt game to be. So, it's bare bones. I wouldn't say it's cheap, though. Because it is a solid game. It's just, the rubber banding was stupid. That's the only problem I had with Heat Evolution, was the rubber banding was stupid. Of course, Heat 2 is a great improvement over everything in, uh, you know, Heat Evolution, as a sequel should be. Which is nice. Two more turns to go. I have a slightly comfortable enough gap to where I don't have to worry about any dive bombs or anything. Especially if I go slightly wide like I'm doing here. And we are going to be winning this race. That was a nice smooth run. I never built any, like, big gap, but held the lead throughout the race, so that's good. And prototypes, well, Sasaki is dominating in Mazda, I think. I haven't actually been paying attention to the P2 results, I will admit, so, yeah. But anyways, three races down, we got four to go. Let's reach the halfway point of this series. Okay, so here we go. Road America. This isn't going to be one of the, the big wild card races because of, you know, speed disadvantage, etc., etc. So away we go at the Road of America. Actually, I'm going to be at an even uh, worse start here because Russo doesn't have to check up at the launch here because the LMP2s get off the line quicker than GT1s, so we're already going to have to fight harder for this win than in the Panos, which is wonderful. Hopefully I can do it. Gotta stay in slipstream, maybe. Block spears. Okay, could make a pass. I was more like protecting against spear, defending against spears, and also just wasn't sure when I should break to actually make the turn. So I don't really go for anything there. I can swoose my way around more here, maybe? Nope. Dive bomb? Yep. Maybe. Perhaps. Whoop. Got him. Alright. One down, one to go. Come on, get back here, Russo. You and your fucking Ferrari. Bet you think you're a cool kid driving the 458. Oh, fuck. That was a minor setback. Kink is kind of an important turn to not fuck up, yet I fucked it up. What if I can go for a dive here into the final turn? Contact. I tried that accidentally. Just accidentally. Luckily, it gave me no damage. No, you don't, Russo. Alright, now time to block. Time to be a blocking fucker. No, oh, is more gonna take second? Ooh. Maybe, yes. Drag race. Perhaps. Oh, we got him. Okay. Forward to second place. That's as high as you're getting, boy. Not passing me. Oh, okay. Never mind. He's passing me. I outbroke myself. Okay, he still didn't pass me. However, 
Russo did. So, joke's on me, I guess. Too far away for a dive bomb. Guess I'll just have to do my final turn move like I did last lap. Do you want to, like, go, Russo? That'd be awesome. You fucking hold me up in the carousel, bitch. Okay. 11% nose damage, which is wonderful. Oh, God. That might have been a little bit of an arrow push there as well. Ah. I mean, it's kind of how NASCARs work, JC. Once they, uh, you know, lose control, it's very hard to regain control. And then they just start pinballing off of everything until your car eventually fucking just spins or stops. Damn it! Couldn't clear Russo. I also fucked up my upshift. So the only time I experienced AI pinning me into walls, and again, again, I'm talking about heat evolution, is uh, whenever I'm three wide, because the AI was, you know, I don't think the AI was programmed to handle, like, more than one car next to them. So, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Once again, maybe I'm just being too nice. Too stupid. Because, you know, today's world, we have to hate everything. Nothing is good, even when it is, etc. Brr. Got a big pile of cars behind me. I uh, finally got the lead back. Not sure how I, how I managed to uh, do that. It just kind of happened while I was ranting more. I turned small thoughts into rants. I should, like, really small thoughts into big rants. I should really stop doing that. I should stop speaking in general. <laughs> hey, I can see the gauges on this car. I like how this thing has a boost gauge when it's apparently not turbocharged or supercharged. That was wonderful. Is it? Hang on, I'm gonna have to check the telemetry. Uh, nope, no boost, okay. Well, it tried, I guess. If you want to boost it, even if there even is an option, I don't think there is an option to boot. Uh, turbo or supercharge this car. I don't know. Pointless gauge. Oh well. It happens. It's dumb. Meanwhile, we have Martin in second place now in the uh, Jaguar. <laughs> Suddenly. Maybe he's angry with me for uh, taking this car in the last segment. He's finally able to do something about it here on race four. I want my car back, bro. Yeah, we have that livery glitch happening with, uh, Martin's car. It's got an orange shine to it when it shouldn't. Round and around the carousel. Round and around and around and around.
That was a good run through the kink. Good, good. So I got one lap to go. I was hoping that was the final lap. It's not. So got one more. So just gotta hold off the uh, the army of angry GT2 cars. For one more lap around here, and then three more races. Please make the turn. Okay, made the turn. Oh god. Oh no. Okay. I thought for sure Martin was passing me. Oh, hello, Spears. I don't have to worry about Martin passing me because here's Spears. Get the fuck behind me. You're inferior to the mighty Bimmer. No, Martin's been shuffled back to fourth after that exchange. turns. Here's where this left hander right here is where I gained the most time if I hit it right, which I did. I just gotta get around this final corner and I'll be good to go. To victory lane. Yeah. And there we go. Alright. Pretty hectic final act, but got the victory. And that's all that really matters. So, there we go. That's done. Another Mazda 1 2 this time. Takahashi taking the win in P2 class, so that's interesting. But, uh, let's move on to race number five. Alright, race number five. Road Atlanta. So, from one road to another. Here we go. Six laps. And, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Russo actually had to get on the brakes this time. Can I take the lead in turn one? Yes, I can. Can I hold the lead out of turn one? Oh, it would help if I paid attention. Uh, ooh. And we have a P2 uh, getting together here. Holy shit, alright, well then, that happened. I had two separate incidents there, me not paying attention, almost just going straight off into the grass, and then the P2 crash. Anyways. That was uh, quite a very interesting start. Interestingness is gone now for the interesting uh, rest of the race, maybe. Oh, the Panos, I did pull a very comfortable win. But I'm not going to have the benefit of uh, being able to slipstream the uh, LMP2 cars like I was with the GT1 cars, so. Might make it slightly more difficult, we'll see. More went for a move on me into the uh, chicane, but couldn't make, finish the move, so... Sucks for him!
You know, come think of it, I still, I don't think I, st I still think I don't have any version of NASCAR 2001 yet, like either PS1 or 2. I just thought about that. Interesting. Huh. It's like the only EA NASCAR game I'm missing. Oh, God. As far as, like, an actual, like, yeah, year. Power Man 5000 has a song called David Fucking Bowie. Nice. Sounds like a who? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just driving this fucking BMW. Also, yeah, I think I'm gonna get a comfortable win here. <laughs> this BMW can hold its own pretty damn well. Overall, this thing drives. It's definitely a lot more smoother than the Pano's. more, uh, stable, overall. Panos was a little bit understeery, a little bit, you know, actually just understeery. Didn't have quite as good brakes as the BMW. It felt like. I could be completely wrong, and chances are that I am. So, you know, green of salt, etc. But, I like the way this bimmer feels. Two by personal ratings, like 20% better than NASCAR 01. Now, is that. Now, <laughs> what's your rating on NASCAR 01 so I know what the extra 20% 20 20 turns into? Mm -hmm. We talking, is this an 80% game, 90% game, 40% game? <laughs> the possibilities are endless. I need to put this up in the moist meter. Unfortunately, a critical kind of has the moist meter in his clutches, so can't really do that. corners here. Slowly increasing my glap. Well, not really slowly increasing my gap, or my glap, as I was about to say. Power slide. That's where we got one in 62%, so that makes heat up, or heat to 82%. Yeah, about, yeah. About right, 8 out of 10. I don't know how people are able to, like, rate things on, like, a 100-point scale. I can barely do a 5-point scale. And 5-point scale is literally, it's amazing, or... Yeah, it's fantastic. It's pretty, pretty great. It's all right. Yeah, this is a bad game. This is fucking garbage trash. You should avoid. And that's a five-point scale, and even I can't fucking do that. Oh, uh, grading things with a five-point scale is probably harder than ten points. What the fuck am I talking about? Maybe if I ramble around about stupid shit, maybe they'll, they'll be good enough commentary. <laughs> I swear to God. Someone please put me out of my misery. Oh God. And also the viewer's misery. Close the tab right now. You don't need to be watching the shit. Watch someone I was actually entertained. 
Like Jimmy Broadbent. Oh shit. Oh shit. Slidey slide goes the car. Okay, final lap. Bring it home. so hard just based off how playable but still challenging it is comparison to every other gameplay of this genre. See, that's a lot of thought. <laughs> that's a lot more thought than I can comprehend. That's why I don't do game reviews. Or any kind of reviews. I considered doing game reviews a couple times, then I realized that would require me actually, like, you know, knowing things, being able to script things, being able to read from a script, knowing what part portions of gameplay to show on video at the correct times. I can't do that fucking shit. And then give a final opinion and a relative score. It's like, I can't do that shit. I can barely just play a video game and talk over it. I think I can fucking review it anyways. Anyways, I won the race, by the way. So, hooray! That's done. And once again, Fisher's finishing in last for a second time. Damn it, Fisher, where'd that momentum go at the start of this? Why? Oh well. Two races to go. And another BMW level up. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me. Anyway, it's time for race number four. Or six. This is race number six. Oh, we're going to say, uh. So, six laps around the Typhoon Lagoon. And turn two is going to be interesting here. Here we go. Into the Andretti hairpin. Can I sneak underneath Russo? Yes. Three wide up in front in the LMP. <laughs> Holy crap. Yep, Spears is alongside. Like, is there somebody next to me or what? There was. Spears. And now he's behind me. Alright. Now. focus on getting around this Ferrari F458. Oh, how you doing, Russo? Nope, not making it. Okay, made it. Holy shit. Suck my dick, Russo. <laughs> the pass. GT2 edition. Uh -huh. Okay, now I just gotta hold him off for five laps. Hopefully I'll be able to do that. Should be able to do that without too many issues. Ah, as long as I, you know, stay on the road. Of course. Staying on the road is a good idea. Holy fuck, how did you? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how I pulled off that pass. I, I really don't. That was, that was one of those situations like, there, I had no reason in actually being successful in that move, but here we are. Oh, God.
much smoother run through the corpse that time, most because I didn't have to do an overtake, so yay! Oh shit, no, on the road, on the road. Never mind, it's an Astro 6 to give 91, nice. Damn! Actually built a little gap here. By a little, I mean two and a half seconds. Color me surprised. Worse for me, I guess. You know, until I go flying off the course like I almost did there. I'll probably do that at some point in this race, because it's Laguna fucking Seca. I'm not particularly good at this track, despite my love for it. Oh, please. Okay, holy shit. Guys, have fun with your little battle behind me. I'm just gonna drive off into the desert on a horse with no name. Except it does have a name, and it's called a BMW. That was a horrible joke. I should be stoned for that. And by that, I mean people throwing stones at me. Oh, NASCARs are insane. NASCAR names are insane. Whoa. NASCAR just turning left. I dare turn left. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, okay. That was a little bit scary. Wasn't sure if I was gonna actually make the corkscrew or not that time. But I made it. So cool. Okay, that was pretty bad last turn. That was fine. It's fine. Two to go. Still got a two second lead of Russo. Ah! Power sliding. actually catching me now, probably because I'm driving like shit right now. Ooh. That is definitely catching me. We are not done yet here, folks. Final lap showdown here at Laguna Seca. Turns to NASCAR, well, they sure do exist. Not much, but they, they do exist. No, NASCAR's gonna turn right, lol, ha ha ha. I'm a fucking retarded child, ha ha ha. No sport. No sport's a really cool track, it needs to be in more games. By that, I mean it needs to be an A game. Like, is there any game that has most sport other than Heat 2?
Also Mid-Ohio. Mid-Ohio is another great track that's underused in gaming. Road America is under... No, it isn't. I just had to mention Road America, because I'm like, hey, look at these tracks that are in NASCAR that are not in fucking video games ever. So I would love to see a cup race around one of these tracks, especially Road America. France, you should do that instead of being a fuckhead. Oh wait, you only know how to be a fuckhead, I forgot. Because NASCAR turning left all the time is far more entertaining than F1 cars playing follow the leader three seconds apart all the time. Boom! Got him! Anyways. No, but seriously, that, that's actually how I feel. Oh, hey. Williams took the win in the P2 class this time. The Acura. Whoa. Da 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 damn. Also, like how there's two Chevy PC cars. Those aren't P2 cars, game. What the fuck are you doing? Oh well. Anyways. I just now noticed that, and I'm almost on the final race, by the way. I pay attention to things. Alright, time to end our Bimmer adventure at Catalonia. Just like we did in the Pinos. So, here we go. Five laps around Barcelona. Green, green, green. And everyone is passing me. By everyone, I mean three. Almost four. I did miss a shift, so that really slowed me down. Oh, God. How you doing? How did I not get any mechanical damage from that? That was some big hits. Whatever, I'll take it. If you want to pity me game, I'll take the pity. No damage. Alright. Anyways, I crashed my whips back up to second after that abysmal start. So now, let us... work on Russo here. Force no for amazing sound engines. Formula E. Hmm. I mean, yes, the cars sound awesome, but that's not like the only reason motor racing is good. You know, it's also the quality of the racing, first and foremost, at least to people who have brains, so like 5% of the racing fan base. Captain Unpopular Opinion. Oh. Like, yes, I love when, like, you see a fucking massive V8 hurling around the track and it sounds so, so cool, but... You take that away, and... I don't fucking care. I... don't care. because it's about the quality of the racing, not the sounds of the engines. We go to racing to watch... We go to racetracks to watch racing, not listen... to the engines. I mean, if you do that, you might as well just buy, like, a fucking, I don't know, a vinyl record of just nothing but V8 engine noises. And not even bother going to a race. different opinion than everyone else. I can't help it. I'm retarded, okay? I'm a very terrible person who has terrible opinions on everything. So 
I'm curious about those asterisks. Because self-censorship. <laughs> oh, hello, Moore. How you doing? What it do, baby boo? What the fuck am I saying? I don't know. I would like to get around Russo at some point in this race. That'd be cool. Ah. It's getting holding me up. Can't do anything. It's like, it's again, the parts of the track where I can make a move are the parts where overtaking is near impossible. Especially if you're trying to do clean overtakes. Come on, Slipstream. Keep more behind me. Shit, oh, nope. Not gonna clear him into the corner, okay. And again, no damage. I only watch Wraithing to see people crash and die. That's the only reason why Wraithing should exist, is so people can die. Sorry, I was channeling a, uh, you know. Since we're talking about uh, bad reasons, but at least I was talking about bad reasons to like racing. That's the worst reason, right there. Obviously, I was exaggerating that, but, you know, it was still shitting on the people who say they watch racing for the crashes. Those are the worst. It's like, I love when people lose thousands upon millions of dollars. Really makes me hard. Anyways. Can I stop, like, ranting about stupid shit now? I'm not even, like, being instigated at this point. I'm just saying shit to try to say shit, because... Uh... Ooh, ooh, hello, how you doing? Impromptu, I got a hell of a good run off that fucking chicane on Russo, holy shit. I was not at all expecting to be able to make that move, but there we go. Now, how's turn one gonna go? That is the important question. Oh, might have outbroke myself slightly, but... Stayed on the road and held the lead, okay. Just gotta stay up front for two more laps, here we go. I enjoy Bathurst 1000 absolutely. So many like different variables in that race, with the first half taking place in fucking wet conditions. Somehow no safety cars, which is awesome. Learn taking the NASCAR. That's not the point. The point is, you know, it's not more interesting than other thing. It's that it was a lot of fun to watch. I didn't watch Bathurst because it's like, oh, this is better than NASCAR. I watch Bathurst because this is fucking cool. So no. If you would be so kind to get the fuck out of here with the whole oh, NASCAR is shit, here's why things. Because you're not making any valid points. At all. Would I encourage you to assassinate Brian France? No, because I don't want you to go to jail. <laughs> Make somebody less important do it. Have Slap Train kill him. He doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, final lap. Would I feel bad if anyone actually did? Nah. Like, you know, France, big Trump supporter. He makes terrible, terrible, terrible gimmicky rules for NASCAR and is ruining it. So, no, I wouldn't feel bad.
I'd just be like, hey, maybe now they can finally get someone to make smart rule changes in NASCAR. Maybe? Perhaps? That'd be cool. Anyways. Did I mention I'm the worst person ever? I mean, I wouldn't celebrate his death, but I wouldn't be sad. Basically. Because celebrating someone's death is just wrong. Unless you're Donald Trump, in this, in which case, celebrating his death would be great. So I don't have to deal with his stupidity anymore. But uh, I'm contradicting myself again. Anyways, out of the final chicane, around the final turn, coming to the finish line at Catalonia. There we go. Win. I think that was a clean sweep. I don't think I had to restart once with the Beamer. No, I didn't. Sweet. A perfect seven race sweep for the Beamer. Despite all the shenanigans that happened, went pretty well. Hooray. Nice, so. There's that, and uh, that will conclude this segment and this series so there's all our gold medals and yeah two uh pro multi-class events done eight to go so with that stay tuned for more forza